everyone, today I'm going to show you my GCSE results. So today is results day and I would like to show you my results. So I'm going to get started. I'm going to go through the list first, then I'm going to break down for you everything. Let's go. Sorry I look so gross as well and I just had like a coughing fit for like literally 10 minutes. So my voice sounds a bit weird. Right, the first grade is not the best. So let's save the comments for when I when I make fun of myself. Okay, so maths, I got a level three, which is equivalent to a D. English language, a six, which is equivalent to a B. English literature, equivalent to an, oh, I never said. English literature, seven, which is equivalent to a A. History, A, media, A, science, B, and the additional science, B. So science, A, B, science, additional science, B. That was like confusing. So all in all, I got three A's, three B's, and one D. Maths. Why did I get a three? I don't know why I got a three. Um, well, I am so, so awful at maths. It's unreal. And I've never been good. It's never been my forte. And in my mocks, I got a four, which made me really, really confident that I would pass and, you know, not have to resit. But I now I have to resit for sure, because I got blimmin' D, which I am happy about because it's not the best grade in the world is it let's be real and you know there's always that option so I did get very down about it earlier and then I just thought my other results are so amazing like why am I actually crying over this I need to get over it and I don't really want to do anything involving maths in the future obviously yes I'd love a maths GCSE but I don't need anything involving maths therefore I don't like I'm not gonna sit and get upset about it because the things I really wanted, I've got amazing results in. Um, and I'm gonna do reset and I think the exams are in November and I think I'm gonna get a maths tutor for like outside of school just so I can like be fully prepared. Um, I did revise for maths, however, I don't think it was to the best potential or is that the right phrase, best potential because Maths is not my forte, and I don't know. I know I did try very hard in maths. I could have tried harder. Like, I really regret not getting a maths tutor um, and, like, paid for one to have with me after school. But I know a lot of people struggle with maths, and it's not just me. It's so hard. Like, if you don't get it naturally, it's very, very hard. So, that's that. Anyway, let's move on. Please be nice about my maths grade, okay? Not all of us are gifted. Um, English language, I got a six, which is equivalent to a B, which I'm so, so happy about. Um, I love English language, and to get a B is buzzing for me. English literature, I got a seven, which is equivalent to an A, which I am so, so happy about because I want to do English literature as an A level, and to get an A makes me so happy and so confident for the A level. Um, so yeah, I'm just really, really happy about that. And I really, really put my all into that subject. Like, I tried so hard for it, and I revised for hours for it, and I did so many things just to make sure I'd get that A. Um, history, I got an A, and in every history exam, I got a blimmin' A, which is so amazing. Like, I got three A's, man. Um, and in the course I got an A star. I really tried in history. Like, history was my favourite subject of year 11. Um, and I want to do history as an A level, so to have all A's in that subject has made me so confident for next year. Although it probably won't go as well as it has to be this year, but I've been, you know, trying so hard history and I really, really, really put my all into it. And I just tried so hard, so it's so amazing. Media, I got an A, and in the course, I could go an A, and in the exam, I got a B, which I also tried really, really hard, um, so I'm very, very glad. And I want to do media as an A-level too, so I'm going to be doing English literature, history, and media. So I've got into all of those, and I have got into sixth form at my school, just to let you know. Science A, I got a B, and additional science A, I got a B as well. I'm very, very happy. Um, I definitely couldn't have done so well in science without the help of my two teachers, so I'm just very, very happy about that. Um, and I got all B's in my science exams apart from P4, P5, P6, um, which I got a C in. And just to let you know, um, I did higher. I just want to say that if you have to reset a subject, don't be 
sad about it because you're being given this new opportunity to reset and you're going to get a better grade so really you're the winner here and there are so many other people doing reset like really it's not like it's not embarrassing like at first I was embarrassed not even gonna lie but now I'm just not even embarrassed because it's just like it's very common and I was talking to a teacher and they were like it's very very common like so many people do it every year and some people get like really good results and they still want to reset in maths to get higher so you know what I mean wow I'm very very happy like I am very happy and I really put my all into the subjects um but that maths one, it was a bit of a Debbie Downer, I'm not going to lie. However, English literature, history and media for me were my wins of today. And they've made me so happy, so confident for next year. I cannot wait to start the A-levels. Well, I'm going to regret saying that when I actually start my A-levels. But I'm very, very happy. And as I said, your... I don't know if I said this actually, but someone, your successes are not my successes and my successes are not your successes. So what you see on my paper may not look good to you, but to me, wow. Yeah, I really hope that you got the grades you wanted today, you got into the places you wanted to go in September today. If you didn't, remember that there are always other options and help out there that you can get to get to where you want to be and grades do not define you at all as I have just shown in my level three maths, but I got other A's. So just remember that. I really hope you've had a good day. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I shall see you all soon for another video. Goodbye.